This whole time I've been talking trash about, ooh girl, I don't wanna burn myself, I don't wanna burn myself, I burn myself, no, I don't wanna burn myself. Girl, I burn myself. Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wig stay. Clink, 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 clink. Y'all, wine and wigs day is basically any day that I can throw a wig on. So it's a day like today. Hey y'all, what y'all doing? I'm having a little sip, a little drink. Y'all tell me what you're drinking down below. Y'all know I feel like I'm giving superhero right now, right? I feel like I should be on Captain Planet. <laughs> like, Real powerful, don't you think? Like, I just love this hair color. Call me Storm, girl. Can I ask y'all to do something? I'm gonna ask y'all every single week, so get used to it. Can y'all subscribe? And can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post? I'm coming to y'all three times a week with new content, hair, vlogs, maybe fitness, if I can get myself right. So just subscribe. So now that I've done, done some housekeeping and asked y'all and bugged y'all to subscribe and hit the post notification bell, Let's go ahead and get into this wig. I want to say thank you to Curly Me Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig is the Brazilian Platinum Gray in Black Straight Lace Front Wig. It is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. It is 250% density and it is, I think, 26 inches long, but I'll correct it down in the comments down below. It is 20 four or 26 inches long. I'll confirm in the description box. Let's go ahead and pop the hood on the wig. I like y'all to see underneath so y'all know what y'all getting into. This wig, like I said, is a 13 by four lace frontal, but it is a 13 by four transparent Swiss lace frontal wig. So that's what it is on the front. There are tracks in the back and then underneath the cap you have, I think there are three combs and adjustable straps in the back to make sure you can wear this cap it's pretty secure. I do feel like it's big head friendly because this wig is big on me. It is flapping in the wind back there. When I received this wig, of course, it came in the beautiful curly me box. I love the curly me box. It looks like a present. Like it looks like something you wanna open. So once you do open the box, of course they provide you with gifts. They give you like a little curly me pamphlet, some wig caps, a baby hairbrush, some big old lashes, a satin, headband it did come with a scissor brooch as well so if you're a brooch girl that'd be cute for you and inside of the box along with the gifts of course you get your wig now this wig when i pull her out of the box she came straight like bones straight the knots were not bleached and it was already pre-plucked so i decided to bleach the knots on this wig and wash and condition the wig and once i was able to wash and condition it the hair just got poofier with like a teeny tiny slight little wave. When I styled this wig, I tried not to do too much. I didn't pluck her. I applied her. Did a little, did a little something, cause y'all know. Esther Scissorhands came into the building and I needed to cut this wig. I got a cut, I got a trim, I got a layer. I did have to do a couple things just to make her look more like, oh, was she born with powers or is that a wig? If y'all wanna see everything that I did to customize this wig and make this wig look like this, if you want to see the full detailed process, please keep on watching. And at the very end, I'll give you my final thoughts as well as the coupon. Okay, girlies, let's go ahead and get started. Can y'all hear me? Y'all already know how I feel about the ball cap method. I can't do it. I don't have the patience, the time, or the talent to do the ball cap method. So I keep it simple. I keep it basic. If you're not a ball cap method girl, this is what I do. I take a wig grip. This is a GEX Worldwide or GEX wig grip. It's the best wig grip to me. I take it and I put it on. And then I take a wig cap and then I just plop her on my head. Plop her on, shimmy her into place like that. And it's kind of like a little um, simple ball cap method without glue, if you know what I'm saying. Like you get it, you see what I'm saying? Ooh, this is the wig. This is what it looks like. Y'all saw in the beginning what it looked like right out of the box. This is what it looks like when it's washed and dry. This is what the wig is looking like. It's real light. I know I'm gonna have to tint this. So let's go ahead and plop her on. Wow, sis. Yes. I love the hairline and everything. This wig is already pre-plucked. Now I could pluck her a little bit more. 
but why if I don't feel like doing it? So what I'm going to do is we're gonna make this simple simple, okay? Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't try and make stuff hard. That's what she said. I'm gonna tint the lace now and go ahead and get that out the way. Now, when I tint my lace, the lace tint that I know and trust, wow, this look like a visor. Girl, if I wanted to wear a wig out in the sun, I wouldn't even glue it down. I just walk out like this. Look at that. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go go ahead and use this lace tint. If you don't know nothing about this lace tint, get on boy, bruh. So this is the Flawless Illusions by Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray. I have the color medium brown. Love this lace tint spray. It's a beautiful lace tint spray, but it be spraying everywhere. So with this lace tint spray, I have to be careful because it starts to spray every which way. So I'm just going to spray, take this wig off, and we're gonna spray into the cap. So this is what I typically do. I just turn the wig upside down, and then I just spray into it that's it so i'm gonna spray it over there but i'm gonna show y'all how i do it i'm gonna do simulating with a simulated sound the more layers you do the darker it gets i'm just gonna spray it off to the side and then i'll be back when i tell you it's messy it's as messy as wendy williams it is and what i'm gonna do is take my blow dryer this is the revlon 1200 watt ionic blow dryer it has different attachments we'll be using this thing today and i'm just gonna blow dry it on high just to set in the lace tint spray so y'all can tell it does look tinted right it does have a tint to it yes that is something y'all see there is a huge difference that look like it's much closer to my skin tone so now that that's complete we need to go ahead and flatten this hairline we're gonna use a wax stick I'm in love with wax sticks these days. So my favorite wax stick right now is the, well, this is the only wax stick I've tried. Let me quit saying my favorite like I've done anything else. The wax stick that I'm using today is the ZLA Defining Contour Hairline Master. It's this wax stick right here. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put a little bit of wax underneath the part and then over the part. And then for the hairline, we're gonna put a wax stick behind it, flat iron it, and then do in front of it. For me to flatten this, I'm gonna use the Andis Hot Comb. This is Old Faithful. She be hot, so this is the one I'm gonna use. We've already added the wax stick under here. You see how hyped it is? So I'm gonna show y'all how the wax stick and flat ironing makes a hell of a difference. We're gonna take it, boom. Y'all see that? I'm gonna take the wax stick and just Hit the roots, and then I'm gonna take the comb. Can y'all see the difference between this side and that side? That side is hype hair. This side is like a little bit flatter. We gotta get behind the hairline and flatten. Now on this part, this is what I do. I pull the wig back over my wig grip and over my wig cap, then I flatten my wig because I'm scared I'm gonna burn my forehead. I'm not playing games. See, I just flat iron it backwards like so light it i'm trying to make my wig applications look less complicated because i'll be doing way too much Ooh, this is the scary part by the ears no ma'am i'm gonna tilt this wig this way it's about to quickly become a side part and i'm about to flat iron this backwards too but keep it away from your ears. save your ears Okay, and then do the same thing on the front side. Now you can really see how they plucked it. They actually did pluck this. Look at that. This is what it looks like when you wax stick and flatten and this is what it looks like when you didn't okay so let's go ahead and do the other side we're gonna do the same thing wax stick it down and then we're gonna apply the wig
So next we're gonna go ahead and cut off the lace. Where's my scissors? When I cut my lace, you can use whatever you wanna use to cut your lace. I use good old, trusty, dusty, any shears. I've had these for at least six years. When I cut my lace visor off my wig or the hairline, I get really, really close and I just follow the hairline. So we're just gonna follow along and cut across the hairline and then we're going to apply it. So we've cut off the hairline. It's looking good, girl. It's looking real good. Next, all we need to do is apply the wig. So when I apply my wigs, I don't use glue. I can only do a temporary hold. One of my favorites is the ORS Olive Oil Wig Grip, Super Hold Wig Grip Spray. It has castor oil in it. We're gonna go ahead and apply the wig. This is how we do it, honey. This is how we do it. I'm gonna take some of the spray and I'm just gonna spray it on the forehead and then allow it to dry. I'm gonna do it in sections, okay? So we're gonna start in the middle and then we're gonna work to the sides. So, okay. Oh, there you go. It's getting to running. Oh God. Oh, 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 oh. I be spraying too much or something. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my blow dryer and I'm gonna blow dry on cool just to get it tacky. And then I'm gonna take the wig, apply the wig right here. I like to take my baby hair brush and use just a flat surface just to make sure it's laying down. I'm gonna start spraying over top again because it's just easier. So that part is applied, at least I think, girl. <laughs> so we're gonna do the same thing over the whole hairline. I'm gonna go underneath and stick it and then secure it by spraying over top. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray all the way across the hairline. And then we'll be back to style and curl the hair. Okay, y'all, so we did the hairline. Me and my hairline, we be we be going through it. Um, y'all see that little halo look? I don't know where I get that from. I think it's because my hairline is ashy, but that's okay because guess what we got? Baby hairs. So I take a little baby hair brush and we're just gonna part away some baby hairs. I like to put baby hairs in the areas where the hairline recedes. Okay, and I like natural baby hairs, so now that that is parted away, I'm gonna take my tweezers. I'm not trying to pluck too much. I just don't want the baby hairs to be thick. 
there we go that's how thick i want my baby hairs to be in order to lay down my baby hairs i like to use got to be glued gel so we're just gonna cut at an angle blue blue and then we're gonna take some got to be glued gel not too much and i'm gonna use the baby hair brush that curly me gave to your girl oh that's a good baby hair Oh, that looks so good. Y'all see that baby hair? That's how thin we want our baby hairs and we're gonna do that all the way across the forehead. So, let's run it. Let's keep it going. We've done our hairline. I'm gonna wait. Usually, I don't, y'all know I don't be setting my hairline, but today I felt like I needed to because I felt like it. While we do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and layer the hair. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and comb the hair out, get all the tangles and stuff out. Now we're going to do some shaping, okay? Like, do a little bit of shaping. So, for the front, Y'all, I learned this from the girlies. We need to make sure our front pieces are the same length. So I'm just gonna part some front pieces away and I'm gonna measure them. And then we're just gonna cut because these are gonna be my guides for how I want my layers to look. So I'm gonna cut it. Is that too short? I think so. Oops. <laughs> So that's our guide. I'm gonna start layering. We just take a section like in a triangle, like so like it, and I'm just going to angle downwards, starting from the chin and then angling downwards. Let's see, we're gonna start right here. thinking I'm angling downwards and I'm not okay so we're gonna do another section another triangle behind this triangle so we did this triangle okay I'm gonna start here and then I'm just gonna angle downwards again starting from where I ended on the last part it's giving choppy but um and then I'm gonna go behind it go further back on the point and then do a little triangle and then do the same thing. I don't really know what I'm doing. Y'all see what I did? So now it looks like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was right, but it looks kind of cute. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, okay? So. is cut the ends I didn't show y'all how long this hair is so originally the hair is down to my boots hey eh? but the ends are thin y'all know I like a nice blunt end 
This is what I do. Okay, so I take the wig and I bring it together and then I hold it and then cut the ends off. So I'm just gonna put a hair tie on the bottom and then I'm just gonna slide it down and then I'm gonna cut. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it like this. Uh oh, let me cut it into the trash can. It's a mess. Okay, and then I'm gonna chop into it. Oh, okay. I think that's good. Let's see if it's even. Yes, it's so much better. Oh, yes. Oh, is it even? Girl, I got a problem. Oh my God. Let's go ahead and take this hair tie off and let's see what the edges are looking. Oh, okay, melt it. It's a little bit of gel up there, but it looks good. This side looks better than this side. This side was a mess. Okay, so next, we need to go ahead and put some heat protectant into the hair because it's time for us to get to straightening and finally styling this hair. So I'm going to use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. Because this hair has been colored, you definitely gonna need heat protectant because we about to be putting a lot of heat on the girl. I'm going to straighten the hair. Now, sometimes, I think the girls sometimes blow dry the hair straight. Ooh, <laughs> y'all heard that? Sometimes the girls blow dry the hair straight, but I like to use a flat iron sometimes because it gets the hair straight. I'm gonna use my T3 curling iron, but I love this flat iron. It is amazing flat iron. This is a smart iron. Let me get close. It has no buttons, so the hair is fine textured, so I have it on one, and the heat is on high so flat iron is ready to go i'm just gonna lightly flat iron this hair just to get the hair straightened so we're just gonna brush through it and i'm not even gonna do the chase method i'm just trying to get it straight so oh girl that's too much hair i did oh it's hot oh i did too much it's not gonna fit Y'all, this flat iron glides. You hear me? Glides through here. So pretty, pretty. So I'm just gonna continue to flat iron the hair and then I'll be back once we got it all straightened out. I need to get these roots too. Cause it'd be looking funny.
Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. Look at it, girl. This whole time I've been talking trash about, ooh, girl, I don't want to burn myself. I don't want to burn myself. I burn myself. No, I don't want to burn myself. Girl, I burn myself. It hurt. <laughs> but that's okay because the hair turned out super duper cute. And I didn't have to do that much to it. All I did was straighten her out and apply her. Now, I think this hair is absolutely gorgeous. And y'all know I'm not really a straight hair girl, but I feel like straight hair works when you got a little bit of color, a little bit of pizzazz. And look, girl, I curled it. I cut it and I curled it and it looked like some. I love how this hair turned out. Ooh. Yes. It looks so pretty. It's holding the little wave, the little curl at the back, like gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm in love with it. I do need to say this, because I said in the beginning that this is a transparent lace. This is transparent Swiss lace. So it's supposed to lay flat, which I love that it does lay flat. But the color, that ain't transparent. If y'all have experienced transparent lace before, y'all let me know because it'd be too light for me. Keep a lace tint on hand, okay? A lace tint that's your skin tone because transparent lace tint ain't transparent for me. But I was able to fix it with some lace tint. Y'all know I love my Kellen Derrick lace tint. It worked perfectly and it made it absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty, the hair is gorgeous. I'm definitely wearing this again on like a date night or something. I'm not a straight hair girl, but if I could just rock straight hair like this, I ain't gotta put no curls in it. I'm here for it, cause I'm lazy when it comes to straight hair. Y'all tell me what you think about this hair. Thank you to Curly Me for providing, let me sit up straight. <laughs> let me get my life together, girl, what? Thank you to Curly Me for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you are interested in this wig, of course, I gotta give y'all a coupon code. Snip, snip, get your scissors out, we about to clip a coupon. If you want to get 10% off, you can use my 10% off coupon code. The coupon code is Amira, just my name, A-M-E-E-R-A, -E -E if you wanna get 10% off. I get so excited when the coupon code has my name in it. Like, I feel professional, you know what I'm saying? I'll leave a link for it down below. Clip your coupons, save your money in the year 2022. That's it, y'all. Thank y'all so, so, so much for watching. I love you all. I need to get some wine glasses, like, tomorrow. I love y'all. I will see you in my next video. In the meantime, check out the other videos, girl, if you're bored and you ain't got nothing else to do. Bye. Why was my hand in your face? I'm sorry.